top 10 zombie series to watch on Netflix. If you've already seen every zombie movie Netflix has to offer, why not find a nice zombie-related TV series to binge watch as well? Hey guys, welcome back to your entertainment channel, Netflix Tops, where we tell you about the top-rated movies and series on Netflix. So grab your popcorn and stay with us until the end of the video, because in today's video, we are going to tell you about the top 10 zombie series to watch on Netflix. So let's get started. Number 10. Based on the comic series by Brian Ralph, Daybreak is an American post-apocalyptic comedy drama adventure streaming television series created by Brad Payton. It is a fun post-apocalyptic zombie series that follows a group of teenage survivors as they try and make it out alive while being swarmed by hordes. Sadly, Netflix opted not to renew the show for a second season, but that doesn't mean it isn't worth watching. The show has a lot of dark humor and snappy dialogue that should make for a breezy and entertaining watch. It centers on a 17-year-old who is desperate to find his girlfriend amid the apocalyptic breakout of Mad Max-style gangs and everything from zombie jocks to zombie cheerleaders. Number 9. A fantasy horror drama television series titled Van Helsing is inspired by Zinescope Entertainment's graphic novel series Helsing. Even though the name suggests that Van Helsing is about vampires, the vampires on this show are very zombie-like. The series has four seasons at the moment, but it was renewed for a fifth and final season. It revolves around Vanessa Van Helsing, who is a descendant of the legendary Abraham Van Helsing. She awakens from a coma in a post-apocalyptic wasteland where vampires have pretty much taken over everything and that she possesses unique powers over them. She is humanity's last hope to lead an offensive to take back what has been lost. Number 8. A loose adaptation of the comic book series of the same name, I, Zombie, is an American supernatural procedural crime drama television series developed by Rob Thomas and Diane Rogerio Wright for The CW. It is a creative blend of comedy, romance, crime, and horror. Where else are you going to find a show that ticks all those boxes? The show is based around the life of Olivia Liv Moore, a medical resident turned zombie who binge eats brains in the morgue to prevent herself from killing innocent people. The twist? Liz finds herself absorbing the personalities and memories of those she eats and decides to use this ability to help solve crimes. Number 7. Not all zombie shows have to be scary. The comedy horror series Santa Clarita Diet proves that you can add humor into the whole Walking Dead thing. It is an American horror comedy streaming television series created by Victor Fresco for the streaming service Netflix, starring Drew Barrymore and Timothy Oliphant. In the series, Joel and Sheila Hammond are regular real estate agents living in the suburbs, except for one teeny tiny detail. Sheila is a flesh-eating zombie. Unbeknownst to her family, friends, and overly nosy neighbors, Sheila calls her new diet of human flesh the Santa Clarita diet, and her husband Joel is tasked with hiding her kills until they can figure out what's wrong with her and find a cure. If you like over-the-top comedy, then you'll definitely enjoy this. Number 6. Does a show as epic as The Walking Dead even need an introduction? Probably not, but I'll give you a little background anyway. Set in the outskirts of Atlanta, the series follows a group of survivors trying to stay alive in a world dominated by zombies, also called walkers. On the surface, the storyline sounds completely unremarkable, but it's the character development that really brings all the viewers to the yard. Rick Grimes is a former sheriff and de facto leader of a small group of survivors but it's the inexplicably sexy redneck, Daryl Dixon, who steals the show from the very beginning. There's blood, guts, romance, betrayal, and a buttload of zombies. What else could you possibly want? Number 5. Created by Carl Schaefer and Craig Engler, Z Nation is an American action horror comedy drama post-apocalyptic television series that aired on Sci-Fi Network. As far as sci-fi titles go, Z Nation was a remarkable hit. The show did well enough to make it five seasons, morphing from something that straddled the line between campy fun and a character study with surprising depth considering its origins. The show centers around a former inmate named Murphy, the only known survivor of a zombie bite who did not turn into a zombie. Although Murphy mutates into some kind of zombie hybrid, his blood contains antibodies that are humanity's last hope for survival. A small group of survivors takes it upon themselves to attempt to get him across the country to the last functioning Center for Disease Control. Will they make it, or will Murphy's strange condition threaten them all? Watch to find out. Number 4. Similar to The Return, Glitch is an Australian paranormal drama that follows seven people who mysteriously return from the dead in perfect health. Although they're not the flesh-eating zombies we all know and love, the undead in this show quite literally rise from the grave and understandably freak out everyone in town. The supernatural drama watches as a great vaguely creepy binge for anyone who wants to get into the Halloween mood without going full horror. 
At its core, the Australian drama is a character-driven mystery. After discovering his formerly dead wife walking the streets, police officer James Hayes searches for the truth behind why these seven people have returned and discovers an unexpected link among all of them. Number 3. What would happen if a zombie outbreak occurred at the set of the reality TV show Big Brother? Luckily for all of us, that's expectedly what the British TV horror series Dead Set is about. It is a British horror comedy drama miniseries written and created by Charlie Broker and directed by Yan Damming. Inspired by the classical horror film Dawn of the Dead, this five-episode series chronicles a nightmare scenario in which Britain is taken over by zombies. In the series, after a zombie outbreak happens during filming, all the castmates and production staff are forced to seek safety inside the Big Brother house. Created by Charlie Brooker, the show is more than just a bloodbath, it's also an unexpected commentary on the state of the entertainment industry and modern media. Number 2. Can't decide between a comedy or a zombie show? Why not have both? Ash vs. Evil Dead is a comedy horror series and sequel to the original Evil Dead trilogy, a horror film franchise consisting of several feature films. It is set in Raimi's Evil Dead universe, with Bruce Campbell reprising his role as Ash Williams from the original trilogy. The series sets approximately 30 years after the last film, follows Ash Williams, a former hero and zombie slayer, who now works as a stock boy at the Value Stop. His boring life takes a turn for the worst after he releases a plague upon the world and is forced to save humanity with the help of some trusty sidekicks. Number 1. If you're a Z Nation fan, then you'll definitely want to add Black Summer to your list as they're based within the same universe. It is an American streaming television series created by Carl Schaefer and John Haynes. It is set six weeks after the beginning of the outbreak. A group of survivors must brave the dangerous new world and try to survive it together. Jamie King stars in the lead role as Rose, a mother who is separated from her daughter during the earliest and most deadly days of the zombie apocalypse. It was renewed by Netflix for a second season. The show serves as a prequel to Z Nation and is much faster paced. One thing people liked about it is how intense each episode was as it feels like you're up close and personal with the characters. And this brings us to the end of the video. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share with us in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for amazing movie reviews coming your way. And thank you for watching.